Hey guys, Jeremy here, driving out to Camp Rockley um, with my dog Windsor. I've got a load full of pallets in the van, which I will use to make the uh, food forest. I'm just going to do a quick update on these swales that have been passed a bunch of times. We saw them in the middle of the drought, um, and now they are certainly making a big difference to this paddock in front of me. I'll show you right now. So here we are, we've got all these swales cut in following the contour of the land and uh, really letting the water soak in and you can see how green and lush that grass is. The other paddocks that don't have this uh, system in place just really aren't as green and lush as this paddock is here. Look, there are swales all throughout the central tablelands, um, but this one is a particularly uh, well done uh, one where you can see each swale feeds a, a pond uh, at the far side over there um, and then eventually they all trickle down and feed like a, a master dam down the other side there. Um, so, you know, it certainly see, it shows how it can retain moisture in the land and then soak into into the, um, the artisanal basin eventually seeping out into the creeks and rivers and, and keeping uh, the water on the land for a little bit longer so the trees get a chance to soak it up and grow big and tall and uh, you know um, the trees are what's the thing that will bring more rain eventually and the less trees the less rain um, hence the idea of a rainforest um, so you know it is a shame that there's not sort of more trees planted along the burn side the lower hill side of these swales um, but um, you know it's just a good indication of how uh, putting in some good systems kind of to replicate uh, nature's um, nature's way of doing things you know because once upon a time there all these uh, collection points for rain would have been there but it's sort of all been flattened for, for paddock. Um, so it's sort of been recreated uh, nicely. And as you can see right here, it's done a fantastic job. Each swale is super full of water and they're like sort of mini, mini little rivers here, uh, mini creeks. Uh, and so, you know, great for the birds and the bugs and everything, but of course, great for the land. Great for the land. Um, so yeah, just a quick update. And um, let's see how it goes over the next couple of years. Eventually the drought will kick in again. And um, we'll see how long the water stays. Last drought that lasted for, you know, more than two and a half years, that dam down the bottom still had water in it. Uh, so it does show that with good systems in place, you can, um, you can, uh, you know, re retain the water in case of, you know, a really long dry spell.